Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Today we are going to continue our English lesson. So get your textbook. We are going to refer to textbook page 115. In order for you to know more about this topic today, we are going to listen to a conversation between a teacher and his four pupils. Now listen. Aside from building a monument, what other ways can we show our love and appreciation for our country? Say, student number one, we can show our love and appreciation for our country by celebrating National Day every year. Student two, we can show our love and appreciation for our country by keeping Malaysia clean. Student 3. We can show our love and appreciation for our country by flying the flags. Student 4. We can show our love and appreciation for our country by visiting historical places. Well, those are the things that ways of showing our love and appreciation for our country. Now, let's talk about the national flag. Uh, sebelum kita probes on to the national flags, we have to look at the facts. Okay, some facts. Ada fakta-fakta tentang uh, bendera kita yang perlu kita tahu. Okay. Flag is bendera. Now listen. The flag of Malaysia, also known as Malay, Jalur Gemilang, Stripes of Glory, is composed of a field of 14 alternating red and white stripes along the fly and a blue area bearing a crescent and a 14-point star, known as the Bintang Persekutuan, Federal Star. The 14 stripes of equal weight represent the equal status in the Federation of the 13 Member States and the Federal Territories, while the 14 points of the star represent the unity between these entities. The crescent represents Islam, the country state religion. The blue color symbolizes the unity of the Malaysian people. The yellow of the star and crescent is the royal color symbolizes the Malay rulers. The red symbolizes vigilance. So these are the facts. Fakta-fakta mengenai uh, bendera. Ya? So we start with uh, dalam bahasa Melayunya Jalur Gemilang dan ada 14 uh, selang seli ya, red and white stripes, jalur merah dan putih. Dan you have crescent, bulan sabit and 14 point star. Ada bintang pecah 14. Yang dikenali sebagai bintang persekutuan, <coughs> the 14 stripes 14 jalur tu dengan kelebaran yang sama melambangkan um, status yang sama di persekutuan dan juga negeri-negeri yang ada. Okay. And then we look at the colours. Yeah. Uh, bulan sabit juga, the crescent represents Islam. Maksudnya dia melambangkan Islam yang mana negara negar, uh, Islam adalah agama rasmi negara kita. The blue color symbolizes the unity. Maksudnya, warna biru pada bendera melambangkan perpaduan. Warna kuning, yellow of the star and the crescent melambangkan Malay rulers. Kesultanan Melayu. ya, And the red symbolizes vigilance maksudnya pertahanan keberanian 
So, itu adalah antara fakta mengenai jalur gemilang or the flag. Apart from all those facts about bendera, about a flag, there's one here that you should know. It is uh, common, yeah, yang kamu pernah dengar, biasa terdapat pada surat-surat rasmi kerajaan. Uh, it is called jata negara dalam bahasa Melayu. And in English, we call it coat of arms. Coat of arms. Ha, sangat penting untuk kita tahu ya. In this slide, we are going to look at the questions untuk lebih kita faham about our national flag. So, we have to look at the question and at the same time, we have to remember, reread, baca semula ke uh, teks sebelum ini. So, let's have a look at the first uh, question. A. What is the national flag of Malaysia called? So, it is called, apa dia? Now, how many stripes are there on the flag? There are, berapa stripes ya yeah, on the flag? So, you can see from the previous slide to answer the quest, this question. As for C, what do the stripes symbolize? The stripe symbolizes what states in Malaysia? Now, kalau you perhatikan uh, perkataan symbolizes tu, Spelling dia S-E di sini, S-Y-M-B-O-L-I-Z-E-S here. So, this is okay. Sebabnya, uh, ada ada perbezaan di antara uh, spelling American dan UK. But, it's okay, okay? You boleh guna sama ada symbolize S-E ataupun Z-E-S, okay? Next, question D. What do the colors on the flag represent? Yang ini pun kamu akan dapat uh, from the previous slide. From the facts there, you can see what is the yellow color represent. Red, blue and white. Okay. Now E, why are we encouraged to fly the national flag on our national day? Uh, yang ini sengaja teacher uh, bagikan jawapan penuh. Bukan uh, mendakkan kamu untuk berfikir. Tetapi, I just want to supply you the answer for you to remember why uh, kita kena kibarkan uh, jalur gemilang uh, sewaktu hari kebangsaan. Now, this initiative is one sure way to demonstrate our love, appreciation and devotion to our beloved country as we approach our national day. Alright. Um, with these uh, five questions, uh, sepatutnya uh, akan memberikan satu gam uh, gambaran pada kamu tentang national flag kamu, tentang jalur gemilang kamu. Sambil kita belajar bahasa Inggeris, kita perlu juga ada nilai-nilai patriotik dalam diri kita. ya. Uh, dan untuk task kamu hari ini, kamu hanya baca slide yang sebelumnya, boleh pause, boleh tengok balik dan sebagainya. Dan kamu buat semua latihan A, B, C, D, E ini di dalam E2. Uh, mind you, ada, perkata, uh, ada warna di sini white. Ini tidak disentuh secara secara langsung. Tapi saya rasa kamu boleh dapatkan jawapan. Uh, itu saja yang agak sukar bagi kamu, right? But I, I guess soalan-soalan uh, yang diberikan ini terbimbing. Uh, Tidak harap kamu boleh uh, buat latihan ni dalam itu uh, dengan baiklah dan hantar ya boleh snap foto dan send it to me. So I guess uh, pupils, uh, that's about all. Thank you for today. Have a pleasant day.